it's a thought process for me. You know, it's not easy for somebody to come out their comfort zone after being single for so long. You know, they have in good intentions as to communicating with someone and being on the same um, level when it comes to understanding and respecting each other and acknowledging each other and valuing each other's time in the most healthiest way. You know, I don't understand what society today, how you have to manipulate somebody, how you have to play these mind games to see if somebody going to scoop to your level at the end of the day. Like, if they're going to fall into your trap. Instead of you just being real, like, if you're in tune with somebody, you're in tune with them. If you're not, just leave them alone. Like, I don't understand. Like, make it make sense, ma'am, sir. Like, you play these manipulation mind games to get somebody jealous or whatever the case may be just to get a reaction out of somebody. I think that's weird. That's childish. And you need to grow up. But you say that you're feeling somebody's vibe and this is something different for you. And, you know, you're not used to somebody being real and they mean what they say and they saying what they mean without wearing a mask because you're so used to lames. It's a thought process to me. When your past don't live here today, be careful when you mean your past don't live here today. Be mindful when you're saying that you're trying to become your best self vision of yourself, not to shortchange yourself, but you want to choose your future. When you're trying to entertain somebody, and I say that respectfully because everybody out here, you know, is not on the same timing as you with the mind games. You know, everybody's not out here playing mind games. There are genuine people out here looking for genuine companionship, genuine, authentic realness out of an individual to be them genuine self. When they look in the reflection, they can acknowledge themselves. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. They know how to find balance in their day. And they truly have peace with themselves without wearing a mask. Or they can actually self-reflect to actually acknowledge themselves in the most healthiest way. Not to dim your light, but respect you. And because you're not used to somebody respecting you, you play in your own face trying to disrespect somebody, trying to antagonize someone's character, judging a book by its cover, sitting there having third-party conversations about an innocent person at the end of the day. And then when you're realizing you're having these conversations with third-party conversations about this innocent person, Everybody sneak this in this innocent person because this innocent person's real. This innocent person, this innocent person has potential. This innocent person is different in a healthy way. Just for you to reevaluate your thought process, wow. They was haters in disguise. I should have shined the light on the genuine person and acknowledged and valued their time when I had the time and day. When they actually acknowledged me and, and all they did was respect me. They didn't have malicious intentions. They wasn't wearing a mask to switch up on me. That's the difference when you come across a real one. They don't switch up on you. Respect and loyalty is a package deal. Something that you're not used to. It's a thought process to me. They say real recognize real, but you got to be careful when you use that word real. Because you'll be surprised when shortchanging yourself when it comes to that conversation. Because not common sense ain't common sense at the end of the day. And everybody's definition, definition of real It's not an equal exchange. And I say that respectfully. So be careful when you're having conversations with individuals. You matter, you're worthy. Not to allow someone to shortchange you when it comes to communication. And I say that respectfully. Leave innocent people alone if you're not genuinely trying to get in tune with somebody. Or you out here trying to play mind games, manipulate them. Or you're here to have no good intentions. Leave innocent people alone. That wants to have a good time. And mean what they say. And say what they mean. That they can value someone's time in the most healthiest way. And they ain't got a fake gas like you. It's a thought process to me. I gotta go! Now you genuine love, respect. Stop the violence. Mm -hmm.